guys, it's Tanza and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I accomplished this look right here. It's called the Foxy Eye because it's very, very lifted. It looks similar to a cut eye. Okay, it's trending right now. So I wanted to show you how I accomplished this foxy eye look. Even with a rounded brow, you can still accomplish the foxy eye look. Okay, so if you're interested in seeing how to achieve this look, please keep watching. Okay guys, so I've pulled my hair out of the way, I've moisturized my face and I've filled in my brows. I want to try out a brand new product today, it's a lip primer by LA Girl, it's in this cute little box right here. It's supposed to be a base for your lip color. So it's the first time I'm going to be trying it out, so I'll apply that right now and I'll give you my honest review on it. Okay, so it's in this cute little container. Okay, very nice. It feels very much like Vaseline. Okay, so we'll keep that on our lip while I'm doing the rest of my makeup and I'll apply my lip color last. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be doing is to apply my foundation and the foundation I'm using is the NAS foundation in Stromboli. Favorite foundation of all time. <laughs> because I found my exact shade, so I actually really love it. So what I do is I apply a tiny bit of foundation on the back of my hand, like this. And with my brush, I'm gonna just apply that all over my face. Okay, once the foundation is in place, I'm gonna apply a little bit of concealer under my eyes and in between my forehead. So all the areas I actually want to highlight, I'm gonna apply a little bit of concealer there. And the concealer that I'm using is the Conceal and Perfect in Light Vanilla by Milani. So I'll apply a tiny bit under my eyes, in between my forehead in this area right here. So any area you want to highlight, you can apply a little bit of concealer there. And I'm going in with my sponge and I'm just gonna blend that in. And what I wanna do also is to apply a tiny bit on top of my eye area as well. And I usually just press that in so I don't drag it, but just press it in. Okay, great. Okay, so once that's all set in, the next thing I wanna do is to set my eye area. So I'm not gonna set my whole face as yet. I wanna set just my eye area so I can apply my eyeshadow. So with this tiny brush right here, I'm just gonna go in with a tiny bit of setting powder and I'm just gonna set everything in. Okay, great. Once that's done, I'm going to start going in with my eyeshadow. So I'm going to get one of my blending brushes. So this small brush right here. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is by Starway Cosmetics and it's 20513. There's actually no name for it but just a number. So I'm actually going to go in with this shade as my transition shade. So I'm going to apply that over my crease area, so right here. But when I'm applying though, I want to apply right above. So I'm going to go up in this motion, right, this sweeping motion right here. I'm just going to go up towards my brow, the end of my brow as you can see. 
and I'm gonna bring that down so right on my crease and above towards my eyebrow and I'm gonna do the same with the other side okay great then I'm gonna go in with this darker shade right here okay so it's more like a chocolate shade it's 20135 and I'll get a smaller blending brush okay and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna apply that to the right below what we just did so right below that and right down so I'm going below what we just did to the edge of my brow here and down I just want to blend that in okay now I want to go in with another shade a deeper shade okay so I'm gonna use the tact palette and I'm gonna use one of the darker shades in there the activist activist right here and I'm gonna go with an edge brush and I just want to sweep that right at the bottom here sort of creating like a line almost like I'm doing my eyeliner and I want to cut that right across here and bring that in and I'll go in with my small brush and I'm just gonna blend everything in okay now what I want to do with the inner corners of my eyes I want to create it more of a glowy effect um, so the first shade that I'm gonna go in with is this shade right here it's by Starway Cosmetics again and it's 20609 so I'm going to go in with that and I'll grab a flat edge brush this brush right here and I'm gonna apply a tiny bit right towards the center and towards the corner okay so that's applied now what I like to do it's already looking very pretty but what I like to do I like to let it dry before I go in to apply another shade because I want that shade to pop so it's almost like a copper shade but I want it to pop so I apply this yellow base and I'm gonna be applying the copper base right on top of that um, so while that's setting I'm just gonna go back in with my small brush same brush that we used before and I'm gonna just blend everything in so that it doesn't look like it's a harsh line there's a harsh line there okay so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in with this copper tone right here okay so this is 20612 and I'm gonna apply this on top of the yellow base that we just I just put on right here okay so that would make it stand out more so that's why I apply the yellow base right under because it actually makes it pop a lot more okay great so once that's done I'm gonna go back in with this shade right here and I want to start blending everything in just so that there's no harsh line there And you notice that I'm taking the brush from up upwards right under my brow the end of end of my brow here and I'm bringing it down because we're doing a lift so we're lifting the eyes 
And since I want things to be a little bit deeper towards the end of my eye, I'm gonna go back in with the deeper shade. I just wanna deepen things a bit. So let me just go back in and make that a little bit deeper. Okay, now for the top of our eyes, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here by Starway again, it's 20541. It's a lighter shade. And with this brush right here, I'm gonna apply that to the top of my eyes. Okay, now the next thing I want to do, because you can already see that the eyes have been lifted. If you look, you'd see that my eyes are lifted. Okay, but the next thing I want to do to create an even bigger impact, I'll go in with my concealer. So I'm going to grab my concealer again, which is in light, Vanilla Light. So my concealer by Milani and I'm just gonna apply a little bit right under the eye area right here and that's why I didn't go in with my powder I didn't want to apply the powder because I knew I would go back in with concealer so with the concealer I'm just gonna line this up to my brow to the end of my brow as you can see so just line this up nicely so it's like a cut eye okay and I'm gonna do the same with my other eye Now this is a very important step if you want the lifted eye look. You must put the concealer and line it up with your eyebrow. So line this up, clean this up nicely with your eyebrow. And that would give you an instant lift. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner and I'm using the Milani eye tech so I'm gonna apply some of that to my eyes and I do a winged eye to go in the same direction okay and with this look I like to do a long winged eye because it just makes it stand out a lot more so my eyes are very lifted. Okay, and then we're gonna be using my eyeliner for the bottom eyes. And I'm going in with the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. Okay guys, our eyes are done and very lifted. So the next step is to set our face with setting powder. So I'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush. And I'm gonna apply some translucent powder all over my face. And the powder that I'm using is the Candide by Revlon. So it's this, I'm gonna show you the name right here. So I'm gonna just apply that all over my face. Okay, great. Once everything is all set, the next step is to apply our bronzer. So I'm just going to do some contouring with my bronzer. And the bronzer I'm using is by Milani. It's the powder bronzer. It's called Silky Matte. So I'm going in with this brush right here. I'm just going to apply that all over my forehead. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna apply under my jawline. Right under my cheekbone. Under my lip. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with another brush. This is my favorite brush to contour my nose. So with the same powder, I'm just gonna apply some. I like to start right here under my brow, just to join everything together so that it flows. And I'm just gonna apply that all over my nose. And right under. So I'm gonna go in with this brush and I'm gonna apply that all over my cheeks. I like to go down and up. So down right here with this brush and up and give a nice smile. And it's important to blend that with your contour also. So what you did on your cheeks, blend that so it's flush, it becomes flush. So what's that in, what, once that's in place, I'm gonna be applying some of my highlights. So I'm going in with the Milani, with this shade right here, the lighter shade in the palette. I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my cheek area right here. And with my tiny brush, I'm just gonna apply a little bit in my eye area, just to brighten things up. A little bit under my eyebrow. A little bit on my cupid, and then I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. Okay, great. Now what I like to do after, I like to go back in to just clean things up a little bit. So for example, if you want the line a little bit thinner, you'll go back in with your contour brush and you're just gonna clean that up just to sharpen out the edges a bit. Go in with my dark shade just to apply a little bit under my eye area. I just wanna make this area stand out a bit. So I'm gonna go in with my sharp edge brush and I'm gonna go in with this dark shade right there and I just wanna apply a tiny bit right under my eye area. I just wanna bring out that, bring out that a bit and I'm just gonna stop it right here. So I'm gonna stop it right at the center of the eye or oh, I can even bring it right out here. So I'm gonna do the same for the other side. And what I wanna do as well, I wanna sharpen the top of my eyes a bit. So what I'll do, I'll go in with that same, same shade and I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit right on my wing line and bring that in. So apply that and bring it. I just wanna get it to a more dramatic look. And I'm just gonna blend that in. So I'm gonna do the same with the other side. Okay, and what I have to do is to blend that in so I don't want any harsh lines. So I'm just gonna go in with my brush here, my flat edge brush, and I'm just gonna press that in so that it's blended and there's no harsh lines. Okay, great. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna be doing, I'll go in with my edge control for my brows. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of edge control to my brows. So I'll go in with this applicator brush. And what I like to do is the, just the beginning of my brows, I like to brush that up. So I go in and brush all my hairs up. 
and out and get that nice and flat. Okay, great, so our brows are nice and set in. Okay, and the next thing I wanna do is to apply my lip color, and the lip color that I'm going in with is the same shade as my blush, and that's by Stowey Cosmetics again, and that's 30605. So I'm gonna apply that to my lips, and remember we did apply the primer to the lips, so let's see how that works out. Very nice. I'm liking the primer. I'm liking the primer, guys. Because the primer is making everything look so juicy. <laughs> like my lips look so sultry. Okay, great. So our lips are done. Okay, guys. So the setting mist spray that I'm going in with is Make It Last by Milani. So I'm going to spray that all over my face. And we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna see how the final look comes out. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned how to get a lifted eye look. So this look is called the foxy eye because it's sort of like a cat eye. Okay, so it's very, very lifted as you can see. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a lot. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. guys today's video is gonna be a quick and easy makeup tutorial if you're one of those people with a busy schedule and you don't have time to accomplish a full glam look this video is for you all you need are some simple products and you can still achieve a glamorous look let's get into the video and I'm gonna show you the products you need Okay guys, the key to accomplishing a simple yet radiant look is to apply some shimmer to the skin. Now, this is the look we're actually going for today. Um, to start off, we're gonna start off with moisturizer. I've already applied my moisturizer on my face, um, but this is the one that I use. This is Talgo. This is the best moisturizer I've ever used. It's natural, all natural, and it has zinc, which absorbs excess oil on the face. So all day long, like, you know, it's absorbing excess oil, so I don't have the shiny spots in my T-zone area. Okay, so I've already applied that. Um, the next thing we're going for for this simple look is our eyebrows. You must do your eyebrows. That's one thing that we can't really bypass doing eyebrows because they really frame the face and they actually shape it. So it gives you that nice look. Um, even if you do eyebrows and you don't do anything else, it just makes a world of a difference. Okay, so we're going to start off with the eyebrows. And the first thing I usually do for my eyebrows would be, if you've seen my videos, my previous videos, is to apply some powder. I usually apply a little bit of translucent powder to my brows just to get it matte so that the application process is a lot simpler. Once that's done, I'm gonna go in with my little applicator brush and I'm gonna brush those hairs. Once that's done, I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow gel, which I'm using the Milani in dark brown. Okay. 
Okay, and with me, I like the natural brow look. So I don't usually start off at the very forefront of my brows. I usually start off at the center, like right here, and I just go right there, <laughs> right? So I just try to get it looking as natural as possible. So I like just fluff that in. And I take the natural shape of my brows. So I'm just gonna apply just a tiny bit. I don't wanna apply too much. Okay, great. So I just want to keep it nice and simple. Like I don't want to go overboard with my brows. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to be doing a little bit of cleaning up. Like I like to line it up a little bit just to make it like the edges a little bit sharper. Okay, so I use a little bit of concealer to accomplish that look. And the concealer we're going in with is the Milani Concealer. And that would be light natural. I'll take my edge brush. It's a sharp edge brush, if you can see that right here. And I'm just gonna dip that into the concealer. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start off at the base of the brow. So right down here. I just wanna sharpen the edges a little bit. Now what does what that does as well though guys is if you have any hairs below the brows it actually covers the hairs up so that you know if your eyebrows are not really done you hardly see any hairs below there so it cleans it up a bit Okay and then I like to go towards the edge of it and just sharpen the edge up a bit so let's just sharpen the edge of our brows and like I've said in my other videos the reason I like to use concealer is because it's the consistency is a lot thicker so it actually shapes the brows a lot better than foundation Okay, great. Now that our brows are done, the next thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be going in with a little bit of our concealer. And I'm using here the Maybelline Master, it's called the Master Camo, that is. So Maybelline Master Camo, I'm going in with this lighter shade right here to cover all the dark spots that I have on my face. Because I do have a few, I do have a few of them. So let's just go in with that. We're just going to cover that up. Cover this up. And I'm going to apply a little bit under my eye. Once that's done, I'm going to go in with my foundation and I'm using the NAS foundation in Strombolet. So we're going to go in with a little bit of that. Like I'm not going to go too crazy with the foundation. Just a tiny bit of that all over my face. Go in with my foundation brush right here. And just sweep that all over my face. Just a tiny bit of that. Okay guys, once that's done, we're going to go in with a little bit of concealer. And this concealer right here is the Milani Concealer in Light Vanilla. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer right below my eyes and right between my forehead. Okay. 
highlight the areas that you feel you want to highlight so you can just apply that with your brush anywhere you want to highlight with just the leftover of the concealer okay now once that's done i'm gonna go in with my translucent powder and i'm just gonna modify everything so i'm just gonna apply that all over my face just to set everything in place so i'm gonna go in with my fluffy brush and for the translucent powder, I'm using the Revlon Candide. So just dab a little bit of powder all over your face just to set everything in. Once this is done, guys, we're just going to be putting a little bit of bronzer. Okay, so we have our Marcel bronzer. I'm going to be applying that over my eyelids. So all over my eyelids, I'm going to be applying a little bit of bronzer. And to apply the bronzer, I'm going to be using this brush right here. I love this nose. So we're gonna be going down with this with the same brush over my nose and down. Okay guys, now with another bronzer, this is the Milani bronzer. This color is Dolce, this number nine. I'm gonna go in with that bronzer and I'm gonna go in a little bit all over my face with this bronzer so that includes my forehead area so we're gonna go right over my forehead and we're gonna go under our jawbone area here And right on the side of our face okay now with a little bit of a contour shade powder like I like this dull sort of brown brown powder like it's more of a contour so I'm gonna be using that to just create a little bit of dimension along my cheekbone area because we just want to contour this side of our cheekbones right here So once that's done, I'm going to be going in with a little bit of blush. Okay, now this blush is by Milani and this is a Lumiso. It's number five. It's a beautiful peach color. So we're going to go in with this blush and we're going to just sprinkle that over our cheeks. Once we're done with that, I'm going to go in with a little bit of a palette hair. I'm going to go in with, I'll show you what color. With this color right here, we're going to sprinkle that over our eyelids right here. Just to get a little bit of a shimmer. And I'm going to go in with this color right here. The lightest color in the palette and I'm going to sprinkle that all over my lower eye. That's done. I'm going to go back in with my bronzer. Okay, I just want to blend everything in. So I'm going to go back in with my bronzer and I'm just going to spread that all over what I did. Okay, so right above my brow. Right below my brow, I should say, but right below here, I'm just going to spread that all out just to blend everything in so it's not too heavy. Okay, guys, and once that's done, we're going to go in with our liners. So here we have our Milani liner. I'm going to be using that for under my eye.
and then I'm going to go in with this physician formula. This is a liquid liner. I'm going to use that for above my eyelids. Guys, now I'm also going to be using this Milani highlighter and I'm just going to sprinkle that all over my face. I'm going to show you the areas that I'll sprinkle that in. So I'm using this brush right here and this lighter shade right there. I'm going to sprinkle that over my cheekbone area. Okay, I'm going to apply a little bit right here. I'm going to go back in with my bronzer. I'm going to line my lip. Okay, so this bronzer is by Maybelline. So I'm just going to go in with this darker shade right here. And I'm going to bronze my lip, the lower part of my lip. I'm going to pass a little bit on my nose. A little bit of both. And I'm going to go in with my lighter. Highlighter, the same shade, and I'm going to pass a little bit on my nose area just to create a little bit of a sparkle. Okay, and you can always go back in with your contour brush and you can clean it up. Add a little bit of edge control to my brows. Because this actually helps the hair stay in place all day, so we're going to be doing that. For the lashes, I'm going to prep my lashes with this Milani, the violet one. waiting for that to dry guys I'm gonna be applying my lipstick okay and this is by Revlon this is a nice peachy color to match with our blush okay this shade right here gorgeous shade And over that, I'm going to be putting a little bit of lip gloss, and this is by Milani, Tropical Shine. This gloss gives you a really nice sparkle. Okay, and the last thing we're going to be doing is to apply our mascara. And this is in black. This is called Highly Rated.
a very important step that I don't like to leave out of my foundation routine is this set right here from Stawi Cosmetics. Um, there's a beautiful bright, it's sort of like a highlighting powder, but this shade right here, it's almost like a banana shade. I love to take this, take my brush and pass it over this shade right here and I pass that all under my eyes. It makes a big difference. And I do this in all my videos actually, I show you the difference. So you can actually see that right there. So this is a very important step. Okay, so I pass that under my eye area just to give it more of a natural look and to brighten under the eye area and I could you could put some a little bit above in between your eyebrows above the forehead area there okay great so once we're done with that look I'm gonna be spraying a little bit of on my matte setting spray I'm gonna spray that all over my face And let's wait for that to dry. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you like it. Okay, you can see the sparkle all over, right? We have a lot of shimmer going on there. But we didn't do too much. So I'll link all the products that I used below so you can see everything that's used. It's not difficult at all. Like, not difficult at all. I basically used, like, two shades for my eyes. But remember, you go in with your bronzer to create that nice you know luminous dark look and then you put uh, like two shades of eyeshadows over it and that's pretty much it um yeah so that's quick and easy and you put your highlight and you're ready to go so if you like it let me know if you want to see anything else let me know as well you can you know if you have any questions you know ask away and you know i'll be at your service <laughs> okay guys thank you for watching Hello everyone, it's me Tanza. Today I'm going to be showing you how to accomplish this makeup look. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Hi guys, we're going to be starting off with our quick and easy makeup tutorial. I've already done my eyebrows offline, um, so you can check that out in a, another YouTube channel that um, we've posted online. Um, also, I've already applied my um, moisturizer on my face, um, so I'm not going to be applying that on camera. And uh, we're going to be starting off with our color correcting kit, which would be the lighter shade right here. Okay, so you apply that on all the dark spots that you have on your face. So I'm going to start with under my eyes. Okay, so anywhere there's a dark spot, you just put a dab of this so that it covers up under your foundation. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is apply our foundation and we're, this is the NAS foundation in color Stromboli. Okay, I'm gonna apply this with just a regular sponge, makeup sponge. To apply, I usually put it right here on my arm. So I put like a droplet of this right here and I use my sponge to apply the foundation. Okay, once you're satisfied with the application, we're going to apply, the next thing we're going to apply would be our concealer. So we're applying the Milani concealer and this color is in light vanilla. Okay, so we normally apply just a few droplets under our eye. Okay, and we apply just between our forehead. The same sponge, I'm going to dab that in. 
Okay, great. So once we're done with our concealer, we go in with our setting powder, which I'm using the Revlon Candide. This is a translucent powder. So I'm going to go in with my fluffy brush and I'm just going to put just a tiny bit. I'm just going to fluff that all over my face just to set that in. Okay, great. So once that's all set, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bake under my eyes. So I'm going to bake with the Marcel face powder. This is another translucent powder. So I'm going to use my beauty blender to apply the bake. Okay, so I'm going to apply the powder to it. Okay, and especially at the angle of the eye, I like to apply a lot more powder because I want to create that sharp edge when I'm applying my makeup. Okay, now we're going to start with our eyes. Okay, so the first um, set that we're going to be using here would be our, it's called the Heat Fire, but it's our palette that we're going to be using for our eye. We're going to start off with this palette. The first shade that we're going to be using here would be this shade right here. Usually when you start work with the eyes, you normally do dark at the bottom and light at the top. So dark, light. So, but we're starting at the core of the eyes to the center of the eye. So we're going to be dipping this in with this shade right here. And I'm going to be just swirling that over. So today we're going for a golden look. I love the gold look. That's my everyday look. Okay, then we're going to go in with this shade right here. It's a little bit deeper than the one that we just applied. We're going to apply this one to the bottom. Because remember, darker at the bottom, lighter at the top. So darker at the bottom. So we're going in with that shade right at the bottom of that. Just a little bit on top of it, but at the bottom here. Okay, then we're going in with this shade right here. It's just a little bit more sparkly, a little bit darker. So we're going towards the bottom again of the eye. Okay, so bottom of the eye. Just a little bit on top of it though, but just a little bit towards the bottom. So we're going in with that. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to go in, I'm going to start with the edge of the eye. So I'm going in deeper because remember, bottom deeper. So I'm going in with this deep shade right here. I'm going to go to the edge of the eye and I'm going to go towards the bottom. So right towards the bottom, right here. And just twirl my brush over it so I can see the deep shade. Okay, I'm gonna go in a little bit more with that on the same eye. I'm sweeping this down and across, sweeping down and across. Oh, perfect. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the center of the eye. So I'm gonna be using another palette. This is called Perfect T. I believe it is, I bought this from Alibaba. Okay, so all of these we're going to be linking below. I'm going to use another brush, which is a, sort of like a flatter end brush. And I'm going to go in with this gold shade right there. Okay, towards the center of the eye. So center of the eye, we're going to apply this right here. And I love the gold shade. It's really pretty. We don't go all the way to the edge, we just stay in the center, the so center of your eye. Towards the front, but center, okay? So we leave our edge dark. Perfect. So we have our gold, okay, in the center of our eyes, the darker towards the end, and we have a little bit of a lighter sort of brown shade. Now I'm going to go in with this same palette, but I'm going to go in with sort of like a lighter caramel. So this lighter caramel color, I'm going to go in with that. I'm going to go in towards the top of the eye. So let me just spread this towards the top because this is a little bit of a lighter shade. Sort of like a... Okay, perfect. Okay, the next thing we're going to be doing would be going in with this same palette. We're going to go in with this one. And we're going to go in with the lighter shade right here towards the core. Here, the corner of the eye right here. So 
We're going to go into the corner and brush this out. Brush this all out. Okay, and I'm going to go towards the edge of the eye with this shade. So right towards the edge. Okay, so again, the corner right here. And then we brush this out. And then I'm going to go in right here towards the corner. Okay. Okay, now we're going to be doing our under eye. Now for the under eye, I usually go in with the same palette and I go in with this shade right here. So I'm going to take a bit of that and I'm going to go in with the under eye right here. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the darker shade right here towards just the corner, just right here. And I'm gonna do the same for the other eye. Okay, the next thing we're gonna be doing would be to curl the lashes. So I curl it even with my with the, the powder below my eyes, I still curl. So you want to curl your lashes right now. I normally leave it for 10 seconds. Okay, and then we want to apply our eyeliner. So I'm going in with this Milani. This is a black Milani eyeliner. So I'm going in with the bottom of my eye. Okay, and then we want to apply our eyeliner. I'm going in with this Physician's Formula. I really like this one because it has a very thin tip. Very, very thin tip. So yeah, so we want to go in. And I like to apply with the big because the powder makes it very dry. So it's easier to apply. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we want to remove the powder below our eyes. So I'm going to be dusting off with our fluffy brush right there. I'm going to dust that right out. Perfect. The next thing we're going to be doing is to contour our nose. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this contour brush right there. And I'll go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Pore Contour. So I love this shade for contouring. So I'm going to go in with this right here. Okay, now I start off the front of the eyebrow and I just bring that down. So I'm going to be doing that several times until I get to the shade that I really, really like. Because you want to make sure that it contours perfectly. And I contour right under the nose as well. So towards the sides, you can see the two dark lines right there. Okay, now the next step that we're gonna do, which is a very important step, which I recently started doing, I use this other powder, which is the Marcel Bronze. Okay, and I use this brush right here, which I don't think there's any name, it just says polished. Um, but I use this brush right here and I actually join the contour. So I use this and I sweep it right over here, over the eyebrow, just like this, just to join that contour that I did at the beginning of my eyebrows. So I do it for both sides. It actually makes a big difference because everything is connected. Okay, now we're going to be contouring our forehead 
our cheek and uh, the bottom of our chin and I'm going in with this Master Contour by Maybelline. Now, I've been using this for a long time but I use this shade right here. Now this is a darker shade so I like it because of the fact that it's darker that's why I'm using this one. So I'm just gonna dust that all over my forehead. Okay, and then I'm gonna contour under my chin right here. Just put some bronzer right there. Okay, and then we're gonna be doing right by the chin area right here. And only curve that in as well. So you do this right here and you curve up. So it curves right above the cheek area. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. And a very important step, guys, if you like the full lip look, I normally contour right under my lip. So it leaves a shadow so that the lip appears fuller. Okay, wonderful. Now the next step, guys, would be our blush. And I'm using this beautiful peachy color by Rimmel. It's a maxi blush. Really, really pretty peach. I love this color. So I'm going to be using that all over my cheek. So I normally smile when I'm applying my blush because you want to see exactly where you're applying it. Now our next step would be to highlight. Okay, and I'm highlighting with a company called Starway Cosmetics. Okay, now this is color. Well, it, there's no color here, but the numbers here is 11122. But it's a nice golden type of contour. So I'm going to be using that right here. And it's a loose powder, actually. Loose powder. But it's gorgeous. So you'll see that when I apply it. So you can see the highlight right there. So I usually apply a lot of highlight because it actually goes away when I spray on my setting spray. So you can actually see the shimmer of that. That's gorgeous golden. It's gorgeous. So I apply the, the, the highlight right there and I apply in some other areas as well. So we want to apply right in between our nose right there. So I'm going to put a thin line right there. We're going to clean that up shortly. Right here on our cupids. Right above our lip. And we want to do right above, below I should say, our eyebrows. So right below our eyebrow right here. Now we're gonna be doing some cleaning up too though, so. Okay, now to clean up the highlight, I go back with my contour brush. So I go right back in and I just sweep that in. So I get a thin line. I love the thin, thin highlight line. Like just one straight golden line. That's what I'm looking for. So you can actually see that. Now I've, I've taken out most of my highlight though, but I just wanna, let me just reapply just a tiny bit. And I'll go back in with my contour. But I like a thin golden line. Okay, so we clean that up. So that's great, looking good. We can clean up our lip as well to just give that just a tiny golden. Looks good tiny golden. Going back in with this brush right here and I'm just going to clean up Lisa just to blend everything out. Blend it out so you can you don't see where it starts you just see the highlights. Then I'm going to go in with a highlight. So with this brush right here I'm going to go in this is by Starway Cosmetics again but I'm going to go in with this highlight, this shade right here. This is like a banana. It's like a golden sort of yellow powder. So I'm going to go and you can see the difference. So you can actually see a huge difference between both eyes. Okay, guys. So I'm going to go in with this right here. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go in with that in the middle of my forehead as well. Okay, now the next thing I usually do is to prep my lashes. Now I don't use fake lashes, I like my natural lashes, like I like the natural look. So I go in with this violet, it calls it a violet one by Milani. Okay, so it's like a eyelash prepper, sort of. So I go in with that. So it's like a primer for your lashes. So I go in with this here. It adds on to the volume of the lashes. Okay, while that's drying, we're gonna go into our brows. So I'm just gonna finish off my brows with this little technique that I learned. Um, it's actually edge control, guys. So I love this. It actually sets the brow in place all day long. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this side of the brush, put a little bit on here, and then I'm gonna start on with this side. It sets everything in place. The hairs lay down flat. It's a flawless look. It gives you a flawless finish. And I'm just gonna apply this right here. Okay, so once your eyebrows are set, I would go in with my mascara and I'm using Milani. I like Milani's products. So I'm using Milani and this is in black and this one is called Highly Rated. Highly Rated. So I'm going to finish off my lashes, my prime lashes, because I normally wait for them to dry out. And once they're dried, then I apply my mascara on there. The next step would be to go in with my matte setting spray. So I usually do my matte setting spray and this one is by Studio Series. And then I put on my lip gloss and this here, and I, I'm using a matte lip gloss today, which is a golden matte, which matches perfectly with my eyeshadow. So we're gonna do that next. So I'm gonna be applying my setting mist and then we're gonna wait for that to dry and then I'm gonna be applying my lip gloss right here, my matte lip gloss. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And we're going to wait for that to dry out. Okay, guys. So we're going to be going in with the lip. Okay, now I'm using this matte lip gloss from Cherry and Tree. Okay, I bought this in Florida when I visited my sister. And this is amazing, amazing, amazing product. And these are nude colors. Five nude colors. So I'm going to go in with my lip. Guys, thank you for watching. This is the finished look. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, link us down below. We'll have more of those videos ready for you. Thank you.